Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Adam Schefter's prediction where he thinks the Washington Commanders will be taking Jaden Daniels at number two, and when Adam Schefter talks, you listen, so we're going to talk about that and some other top 30 visits that the Washington Commanders have lined up. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this. When Adam Schefter talks, you know, usually it means something he kind of said early on that you know Ben Johnson wasn't a den done deal with the commanders in the you know when the coaching search was happening and he was one of the only guys saying it there were a couple other guys but a lot of the national media and you know the, the reports were saying Ben Johnson was going to go to DC and I know I made a video yesterday about Jaden Daniels where you know Brian Kelly was in an interview kind of said he's going to be you know getting it to playmakers in Washington and the clip that I kept on, they kept on seeing on Twitter, didn't show the question before where they're asking like, would he be able to do it in Washington or something like that? So I thought it was just talking about in general and maybe the coach slipped up, but that's my bad. Uh, but moving on here, this is actually something kind of big. And Adam Schefter, the way he was talking, and I'm gonna sh you know let you guys hear his part you know, in the podcast where he talks about the commanders, the way he was saying, he's like, you know, I know we're not supposed to spoil picks or anything, but all the signs are pointing towards Jaden Daniels. So he said something like that for uh, where the commanders are going at two. So he doesn't seem like it's guaranteed, but he's, he, it seems like he thinks there's a pretty good chance that, you know, Jaden Daniels is the number two overall pick, and he's one of the biggest, I mean, he is the biggest NFL reporter out there and one of the most trustworthy ones, and yes, he does make mistakes, and he did pretty much say that Mac Jones was going to be the pick at three in 2021 when the 49ers were there, and guess who was there in that building? Adam Peters. Does that mean, you know, he had a lot to do with the pick? No, but it does you know, I don't know, maybe he's going to operate the same way and Adam Peter or Adam Schefter won't really know. And, you know, they have been trying to keep things, you know, tight and, you know, close, close to them. So I don't really know if Adam Schefter knows, but he is well connected. So for him to say something like this is a big deal. I'll go ahead and play the clip. I mean, it's, it's just a podcast clip. So it's, it's just audio, but I'll go ahead and play it for you guys real quick. From that relationship, which brings us to Washington. I know we're not supposed to spoil picks. We'll see how the commanders decide to move forward with the number two overall selection. But a little over a few weeks out, to me, I think the signs continue to point to Jaden Daniels being the second overall pick at number two. Seems like he's popular in the scouting community. Seems like he would bring. All right, I don't know where I cut it off because when I'm playing the audio, I can't hear it. But you heard what he said. He thinks that. The commanders are going to take Jaden Daniels, or at least he thinks that the signing signs are pointing towards that. He thinks that you know he's viewed highly among you know amongst the scouting community and a lot of the things that the commanders are looking for. Jaden Daniels has, and I think that definitely could be not hinted at, but like maybe what Cliff Kingsbury wants in a quarterback. You look at his quarterbacks in the past; a lot of them were kind of you know mobile. You you know you got. Caleb Williams at USC, Kyler Murray in Arizona, you got Patrick Mahomes in college, and then he had one other quarterback. I think he was at Texas A&M. Maybe he was there when Manziel was there. Not completely sure, but a lot of different quarterbacks that were at least a little bit mobile. So that's probably something he wants in a quarterback. But Drake may also as mobile, and I have been kind of this whole time Definitely lean Daniels in terms of who I want. I, yeah, I prefer Jaden Daniels for sure, but I still would be okay with Drake May if we draft him. And I'll trust Adam Peters on that one. I will until he shows me that he can't be trusted. I'm going to trust Adam Peters. This is the biggest move that he's going to have to make here in Washington, in my opinion. Number two overall pick. He's starting this, you know, uh, regime off, you know, or this era. This is where he starts, who you have at quarterback. Because after that, it really doesn't matter if you don't get the quarterback right. You're going to be in this spot again in a couple years and you know trying to choose who your next quarterback is. So make this decision, make the right decision here. And then all the other things are going to be way easier and honestly, way less important when you just get that quarterback right. Everything else is easier. 
And it's a good problem to have when you're like, oh, we need a, you know, we need to get another linebacker, we need to get this versus we need to get a franchise quarterback. Because at least with a franchise quarterback, for the most part, you're going to be a perennial playoff team. And then after that, you know, you're going to have to build towards a, you know, Super Bowl contender. But I think, you know, Adam Peters can possibly do that. Just it's, he's got to be picked the right quarterback. And I think Jaden Daniels can be that guy. Obviously, he has his flaws. So does Drake, man, even Caleb Williams. All these guys have their flaws. And it's all also about the development. I think we have a lot of very good coaches in place that have a lot of experience that can help develop Jaden Daniels or Drake May or J.J. McCarthy the right way. I don't want J.J. McCarthy. I know a few Commanders fans do when I made my video about it, but I think the quarter or you know the quarterback will be in a good situation here uh, in terms of coaches that can develop him. And Cliff Kingsbury, who was a head coach before, you got Anthony Lynn, who was a head coach before, you got Brian Johnson, who was an OC with Jalen Hurts, you know, youngish quarterback. And then you got um, Dan Quinn, who's been a head coach before. I mean, obviously a defensive side of the ball, but still, you got a lot of experience there in this coaching staff, and I think that'll help, you know, Jaden Daniels out a lot or Drake May as well. Uh, some other stuff. Uh, we're hosting him for a top 30 visit, and then I like this thing right here. Ben Johnson, Commanders. Adam Schefter said nah. Drake May, the Commanders. Adam Schefter said nah. We'll see it if he's correct, but he was correct about the Ben Johnson thing when everyone else was saying no. And I did make a video going into depth about all the top 30 visits, but here's a full list. Got a few offensive tackles. We got all the top quarterbacks, plus a couple, plus Slovis, a couple running backs, a few receivers. You got Brian Thomas, who is, J or not J.J. McCarthy, Jaden Daniels' college teammate, Maybe they trade back into the first and get him, or maybe he falls and you get him in the second. You got Jatavion Sanders, who I made a video on tight end prospect. Got you know some guys in the trenches. One linebacker, I think. Yeah, one linebacker. And yeah, a lot of receivers, a few defensive ends. So really versatile in terms of the positions they're going after. Really, though, the one that they're going after the most is quarterback. They're doing their due diligence. You know, just because they're meeting with Bo Nix, does that mean they're drafting him? No, it's just they're doing, they're trying to compare all these quarterbacks to each other, seeing, uh, yeah, who's the best one. And I think they know that Bo Nix isn't nearly as good as Jaden Daniels or Drake May or Caleb Williams, but they want to make sure and see how those guys compare to Bo Nix. And if there is a big drop off, uh, they need to make sure. And a couple corner, or I guess what, one cornerback in Elijah Jones. And yeah, so a lot of different players here that they're, you know, meeting with different position groups. And most of these guys are going to be second, third round picks. Usually it's a lot of first round picks in your top 30 visits. Uh, but the commanders kind of know who they're drafting in between like two or three guys versus usually when you're picking at 15, 16, there's like five to seven guys that you're, you don't know, like, are they going to be there? So you really have to do more due diligence on these you know first round guys but this year we don't because we have the number two overall pick unless we want to trade back into the first but yeah that's it for today's video just a quick one hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and peace